subscribe to this channel Techie Paddy and click that bell icon button to be the first ones to receive the latest updates about the latest videos on this channel Techie Paddy. Hey guys, this is Noel Pardao Kirir from Techie Paddy. Welcome to another episode of Techie Explains. So in this episode, I'll be explaining about something called as email bombing. Yeah guys, from this title, you might have already guessed email bombing. It's kind of something interesting. So I'll be talking about how does it occur, what are the prevention techniques, what are the detection techniques, etc. So sit back and enjoy this video. Let's go. So let's start with the basic definition of email bombing. What is email bombing? An internet abuse which is for the applicable to this email addresses. For example, you are using Gmail. But Gmail offers 15 GB of space to you. Now what you do, you might be using that space to maybe use a Google Drive or send your emails. What does the attacker do? Obtains the email address, execute its source code and BAM! Malicious emails flood into your email inbox at one go filling up your storage so you cannot even send any email you cannot even receive any email that's called email bombing but what is the basic principle behind it there's something called as denial of service basically it is for the server for example i say that you when you're you're eating something and i offer you this much and you say you are full what do you say i am full i cannot eat anything that's basically what is called as denial of service i cannot send anything i cannot receive anything that's it what are the types of email bombing, list linking, zip bombing, mass mailing. Starting with mass mailing. Mass mailing is sending n number of mails at one go to your inbox. List linking, subscribing to many other newsletters and all that which are very unnecessary to you by the attacker and flooding your inbox with all these promotions and social and all that stuff etc. Zip bombing, zip file is sent to you by some other person which you might be knowing which is actually not. You open the zip file and BAM! The zip file executes a code and n number of emails start flooding your inbox. That's it. That's called as email bombing by using zip method. So now how do you detect email bombing? The only thing is simple. Inbox full, cannot send any new mail, cannot receive any new mail. Email bombing. That's it. Let's talk about the prevention techniques. Number one and the most important thing, use an antivirus and firewall. The next thing is using filters. So basically everybody might have used these email filters and all that like for example, I have an email from John. So John's, uh, I film, create a filter of John. So John emails will go into a folder called John like that, etc. Create filters. Initially the filters weren't that good, but now they are quite good. Look at Gmail's filter, damn good. The third and the fourth, I think you might get confused with these terms. Well, this is called as using proxy server and the second, fourth one is called as simple mail transfer protocol. Proxy servers is basically what happens is if there are many email bombs using different different email addresses, you might get confused. Okay, what to do? How much will you spam? How much will you filter, etc. So this proxy servers use some rules and regulations which help in controlling these malicious emails. The fourth thing is simple mail transfer protocol SMTP. It is basically for the security and authentication of your email inbox. So whatever send email you send, whatever send email you receive is all encrypted and then decryption and all that gets and carries out. That's a big process and all that stuff. And the fifth thing is never reply to these emails at all. People make a mistake of doing that due to which they more because due to which this is triggered more and their inbox is more flooded. So that's all I can say about this email bombing. This is a simple explanation about what is email bombing types and all that stuff. If you like to refer more, there are many other articles on the internet which you can refer, but this is just a simple explanation. If you like to read more, I've already written a blog about it. It's on my website that is techieparry.com. Do go and refer that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel Techieparry, this is the first time. My name is Noel Pargaukar and this is my channel Techie Parry. Do subscribe. If you have any comments or any feedback, please do leave it in the comment section of this video. Please share this video and I'll see you guys in my next video.